Hi there and welcome to today's Photoshop beta tutorial talking about generative AI and filling in backgrounds with a text prompt. This is the new way that things are happening. We've probably heard lots about AI everywhere at the moment, but this is Photoshop's first um, experiment with it. And you can see here, I've got a few different backgrounds I've added. I've done um, underwater with fish. I've done Stonehenge, a desert island, New York skyline, and you can literally, and obviously the Mars and space one. To do this, it's so simple. You draw over the area you want to add your generative fill into. Um, I've done the whole background here, and then you just type in where you want it to be. So we could be... In a dark forest. Click generate. It'll take a few moments for the AI gears to wind around and create what they're going to make. And once it has thought about it for a while, it will generate the brand new background. Now, Photoshop and AI are going to become a thing in the future. This is my first ever experiment with it. I'm just trying it out today and there's the dark forest. Now you'll see over here there are different variations of the background so you can experiment with until you find the one that you like the most. And obviously like everything in Photoshop you can then add all your adjustments, colors, everything like that to it and you can do whatever you want. It is so exciting. I hope you've enjoyed the first glimpse of this today. and um, yeah, we'll try one more. So we'll draw another background and we will type in um, Sunset Beach. And you can literally generate anything you like using text prompts. Now that opens up a whole world of opportunities. So I wonder how Photoshop are going to deal with this in the future. And if you're teaching Photoshop, how are you going to deal with students that create their own um, images just by typing stuff in? And you can see instantly we've got all these beautiful sunsets and beaches. I mean, it is absolutely incredible. Okay, let us know in the comments below what you think about Generative Fill AI. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll do some more in the future.